Hello guys, happy weekend, and this is Mike Padua, and we're back again to our latest uh, analysis. This is for today, Sunday until Tuesday, June 30 to uh, July 2, 2024, English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Negacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagali Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. So, let's begin with our update. Here's the latest GovSat that we issued yesterday until this bullet until Monday. This is a 48 hour update. And uh, it's all clear across the Philippine Islands except for those afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms all throughout the uh, archipelago. And uh, we don't have any wind system right now. We have a surface stuff here over the bottom of the country across the uh, Celebrity Sea and uh, you can clearly hear the sound of thunder as we are now experiencing some localized thunderstorm here in Naga and across the Western Pacific we have a uh, intertropical convergence zone here uh, retreating over to the southeast of Guam so for today until uh, the next 10 days there are no tropical cyclone formation in sight most likely, it it may arrive uh, around the 15th of uh, July onwards. So somewhere between those dates, uh, formation of tropical cyclone. We are quite similar to the uh, shifting of El Nino to La Nina of 2010. Because during that time, uh, June also experienced some absence of tropical cyclone. No, uh, no uh, formation of any kind of cyclone during the month of June of 2010. Then when uh, July arrived, we have uh, Butchoy, which uh, passed over Metro Manila as a typhoon. So it's really uh, similar to the 2010 El Nino to La Nina season. Okay. So right now we're still experiencing the uh, extension of the effects of the El Nino. Although we have uh, daily thunderstorms, but it's not enough to uh, reach the monthly average. And uh, most likely as we move into uh, July and August, uh, more rainfall will be expected since we are now moving into the peak of the uh, southwest monsoon or the monsoon or the summer monsoon here in the northern uh, hemisphere. Now for the uh, fast animation, here we go. As of today, we have a developing uh, near equatorial trough here, or surface trough, over to the southern uh, most parts of our country. Some of these thunderstorms are bringing uh, rainfall across Palawan and southern Mindanao. And elsewhere, more of a localized thunderstorm, particularly in the afternoon or evening. Now for the zoom-in satellite animation from windy.com. You can clearly see here, uh, developing thunderstorms over to the southern post part of Mindanao, a part of the uh, uh, New Equatorial Trough or Surface Trough. And here over Mindanao, Visayas, and most parts of the sun, we are observing this increasingly uh, developing thunderstorm clouds as the afternoon progresses. Uh, just right now, here in Naga, we are experiencing uh, some sort of a localized thunderstorm. And uh, for the wind forecast for the next uh, three days until uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, it's all calm across the Philippine Islands, light winds, variable winds. And uh, here over the Bicol region, we have a very light winds from the east. By tomorrow, Monday, July 1st, same situation. And also uh, on Tuesday, although the winds here over the eastern uh, portions of Luzon including Bicol will uh, begin to increase from the east but still at slight to moderate levels and on uh, Wednesday it will again uh, extend across extreme northern Luzon and also over eastern Visayas area but elsewhere it's gonna be uh, come to variable 
especially over the land especially over the inland areas of the country and for the rain forecast for the next uh, three days so today sunday we could expect more thunderstorms in various sections of the country uh, tomorrow july 1 the same becoming more frequent over visayas and mindanao uh, tuesday afternoon again thunderstorms across visayas mindanao Bicol region northern and central Luzon, palawan and on Wednesday, same situation will be expected, although the uh, eastern sections of uh, Visayas and the Bigel region will uh, expect these thunderstorms to arrive late in the afternoon or e early evening. And so far, that's the forecast of the rain. And when it comes to the rainfall accumulation for the next three days, it shows here more thunderstorms in store across the country except for some portions of Cagayan Valley, which is still... Uh, devoid of any heavy thunderstorms but when the uh, southwest monsoon or any tropical cyclone that uh, are expected to arrive in the next few months uh, the rainfall here over Cagayan Valley will eventually increase okay and uh, for the wave forecast for the next three days it will remain uh, light calm to light and we are now forward, forwarding this until Wednesday so over the East Philippine Sea, it will remain 1 meter in wave height, very light. While over the inland waters of the Philippine Sea, it will remain calm to up to half a meter. As well as here over the West Philippine Sea from 0 0.3 meter up to 0.7 meter in wave height. So very suitable for fishing and sea travel okay so there you go that's the latest from uh, here from naga city and we will return again uh, probably on wednesday to give you the, the very latest on the weather situation across the western pacific and the philippine islands this is mike padawa saying happy weekend to all stay safe always and thank you so much for watching our channel god bless to all